big weekend. Lots of sunshine out there today, and once again, temperatures will not, were not too warm. Once again, they were well below normal for this time of year for today. So let's take a closer look at those high temperatures for today. Only in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees, the official high in Cleveland, 70 degrees. 70 degrees. We are in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. These are our afternoon highs for today. All right, sorry for that moment of um, silence there. We had a little technical difficulty. High temperatures today, upper 60s to near 70 degrees today. That's well below normal for this time of year. Now, we will be tracking some warmer weather for the upcoming work week. So let's go ahead and talk about the overall weather pattern on um, this weekend, which is why we saw some cooler air. So on Friday, we saw a cold front move through that brought some rain showers, some downpours and even some stronger storms to the area late Friday afternoon through Friday evening. That led the way to some cooler air moving in. Then we saw a big dip in the jet stream across the eastern Midwest as well as the northeast, and that's what kept that cooler air in play for the for the upcoming weekend. Now this area of low pressure in the middle of the atmosphere will start to move to the northeast um, throughout the work week. That will allow an upper level ridge to build into the area. So that's why we do expect some warmer weather ahead. And for the most part, the 80s will dominate the eight day forecast. Then, and with that area of high pressure and control, that not only means warm weather, but that's also gonna bring in a lot of dry weather. So expect a lot of sunshine for the upcoming week ahead. Now, by the end of the work week and maybe next weekend, we're going to be tracking the remnants of a tropical system that could move in the Ohio River Valley. And there still may be enough moisture that's going to get close to northeast Ohio, perhaps by the end of the work week and next weekend that could bring in a few rain showers to the area. But for the most part, the upcoming week does look pretty dry. In fact, that chance of rain may not return until the end of next weekend or early next week out there right now. No rain, lots of sunshine, maybe some passing clouds here or there. Temperatures right now are in the 60s across the board. 64 in Ashtabula, 67 in Youngstown, 68 in Akron, Canton, 69 in Cleveland, 68 in Lorraine, 69 in New Philly. Then well out to our west from Toledo to Finley, we are still at 70 degrees. There's still plenty of time to get outside this evening to enjoy the nice, comfortable weather. Temperatures will quickly drop the 60s, then into the upper 50s just before midnight tonight. So the weather looks great to get outside this evening. You're not going to need the rain gear at the very most, probably just a light jacket or sweatshirt, especially if you still needed one um, earlier today. Now tonight is going to be another unseasonably chilly night. So on your Monday morning's checklist, I want you to have two things at least jacket or sweatshirt as well as a hot cup of coffee. Overnight lows across the area will likely range from the mid 40s for places well inland to maybe near or just above 50 degrees for places right along the lakeshore. But look at New Philly bottoming out at 42 degrees overnight. Cleveland 52, 48 Akron, Canton, 49 in Mansfield. Now tomorrow, as soon as the sun comes up, these temperatures will start to jump. So tomorrow will actually be a warmer day compared to today and much more seasonable for this time of year. Highs will be in the mid to upper 70s. Maybe our far southern communities could hit 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow overall looks like a nice day, but there's going to be one problem with the forecast tomorrow, and that is going to be the wind. Tomorrow is going to be a rather breezy day, especially tomorrow afternoon. So let's say from noon until around 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, that's when the wind's likely going to be the strongest. That's when I do expect a west wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wind gust tomorrow at times could be as high as 30 miles per hour. So tomorrow is going to be a breezy day, 
So if you have outdoor plans, make sure to plan those outdoor activities around the wind. Small craft advisory will remain in effect through 10 p.m. on Monday. Southwest winds 10 to 20 knots overnight, waves still between 3 to 6 feet. Then those waves will likely build to 4 to 7 feet tomorrow afternoon with that west wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. For the most part, tomorrow we will feature lots of sunshine as high pressure builds into the area. But we are going to keep a close eye on our far northeastern communities, so mainly talking about Ashtabula County. High pressure will build into the area, so that's likely going to keep most of the rain showers and downpours that develop across the region, across parts of the northwestern corner of PA, as well as New York. That's where the higher chance of rain will be. Some forecast models try to bring in a rain shower or two late tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening for some parts of northeast Ohio, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think with that drier air in play and with high pressure building into the area, that means we're probably going to stay dry. Here's your eight day forecast. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, high of 78. We'll be in the low to middle 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then perhaps Thursday looks like it's going to be the warmest day this week with a high of 85. Still looking at high temperatures in the low to middle 80s for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And overall, the eight day forecast does look pretty dry. Maybe a slim chance for a few rain showers due to the moisture from the remnants of that tropical system that could move in the Ohio River Valley late this week or early next week. But that chance of rain right now looks like it's going to be slight at best. But right now, if you want to keep those gardens going and if you want to keep that grass looking green, you're probably going to have to do the watering yourself. But for the most part, I think this the upcoming week is going to be very nice. Temperatures will be on the warmer side. Lots of sunshine. And once again, the 80s will dominate the eight day forecast. I hope you got a chance to get outside at some point this weekend to enjoy this taste of fall because it doesn't look like this taste of fall is going to last very long. Summer is back for the upcoming work week. So I hope you have a great night and a great work week ahead.